So the, big, the biggest event we've uh, we faced or we faced uh, was at the beginning of the year where we um, we take the management of five properties uh, which belong to BNP um, Paribas real estate. Uh, they gave us the management of these properties in France uh, because they realized that they were good at financing the property, developing the properties, but the management of Part tell is really specific here. So they recognize our skills into managing this specific segment. So they give us the, uh, the management for a long period of time. Um, we've also signed um, a new master franchise agreement with Orbis. Orbis, the uh, partner for, of Accor, uh, located in the eastern part of Europe for also a long term uh, contract. So they will be uh, in charge of developing, finding the site, developing the site and managing the site under the brands of Adagio and Access for us. The territories are um, all the uh, ex-USSR uh, satellites, so Poland, Romania, um, all the Baltic countries, um, Hungary, uh, more or less eight countries. I'll talk about uh, the next, uh, let's say, next three years, uh, because it's interesting to see, uh, uh, because the pace is different uh, in function of the years. Uh, we opened, or we are really opened six properties in 2018. Uh, including Amsterdam um, with a franchisee. For 2019, we expect to open seven properties and 2020, uh, six properties, or so more or less like uh, 13 properties, uh, 19 properties, including the, uh, this year. Uh, and after that, we have 46 uh, properties in the pipeline, which represent more or less 6,000 rooms. Uh, so, which will give us the, uh, the capacity to go from 12,000 rooms today to 18,000 rooms uh, by 2023. Okay. So, for the, uh, to, to, respond, to respond to your question, uh, for next year uh, specifically, we will open uh, most of the property will be located in France. The more we are going forward, the less will be in France. Because France is, is, represents uh, almost 75% of our stock today. Yes, Adagio, so the brand is known uh, through Adagio mainly um, because this is the brand which has been created in 2007. Uh, when we acquire a French brand called Citea in uh, 2011, um, we decided to create um, a budget brand called Access. So we develop Access in function of the territories and um, where the, the ADR, the ref bar is slightly lower than for Adagio and it also used to complete, to fill uh, territories where the Jew is really well represented. In terms of concept, so we've, um, we've developed and opened in Bercy in Paris a new concept for the public areas called the cycle, where there's functions, five main functions, including the grocery, the, the library of objects, uh, the shared kitchen, and also um, uh, what we call uh, the host table, so we get we got rid of the uh, the desk, the large desk, to replace with a nice wooden table in order to uh, welcome smoothly welcome the, the guests. So th this was for end of last year. So we plan to implement this cycle concept in 20 properties per year up to 2020. So it will be uh, more or less 64 properties equipped and developed uh, with this new concept and we are working on a new concept uh, which is a co-living concept but it's adapted to uh, the Yadejo product i.e. it will be four, room, five, uh, four bedroom, five rooms or six, room, seven, six, sorry, six bedroom, seven rooms uh, in order to complement what we have today to welcome guests on a short and medium stays in order to give the guests the experience they are looking at uh, through the Airbnb. So we are in fact uh, offering to the guest what, what Airbnb is offering without the services.
and the co-working, uh, talking about the co-working, um, through the, uh, the development of the cycle concept, we've um, discovered that the breakfast room is used only up to 11 in the morning, and after it's not used anymore, not used at all. So it doesn't give any interest nor money out of that. So we've decided to split the breakfast room into the, uh, the pure breakfast room with table and chairs, and also to give experience to the guests to take the breakfast with sofas and chairs. Sofas and uh, canapes. So it can be used as um, a co working area during the day. It's really interesting to see that the market is evolving very fast with new concepts, um, whatever the size of the concept, and to see that uh, the largest brands uh, are listening to the market and change the perception of uh, the needs of the client.